Hello everyone and welcome to another haul video. At the time of this recording, it is New Year's Eve and I have not been doing a lot of videos lately because I've just been enjoying the holidays and just relaxing, but over December and a couple of uh, acquisitions from Black Friday. I um, acquired a couple of games that I'd like to show off, some Amiibos and some stuff that I got for Christmas. So let's get started. All right, so I guess we'll start with what I got during Black Friday, but GameStop had a sale where it was like buy two used games, get one free, and they had some pretty decently discounted prices. So I ended up picking Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe and it, I'm pretty happy because it actually came with the original case um, inside. I'm not sure if there's a manual, but I really do like the inside world map of this and um, everything seems in order. I haven't played this game yet. Um, I imagine I will play it in between my two Borderlands games. So I think I'll get to it soon, but I, I haven't touched this one yet. I, I hope it, it works. Um, I've never had a used game from GameStop that didn't work, but you never know. I guess it never really hurts to check, but I feel like it's been too long now, so I, I, I doubt I'd be able to return it even if it didn't work. Um, I, I'm sure it will. Now, I brought this up just a second ago. I talked about Borderlands, and I picked up this from Walmart for $25 brand new. And this is the Legendary Collection. It comes with Borderlands 1, the uh, 2, and the pre-sequel. I already did a casual review for the first Borderlands, and I played through all the DLC of that. Currently, I'm playing through Borderlands 2. I, I have finished the base game, but I do still have the DLC to get through. Um, after that, I will do a casual review on that shortly. Here's what the inside looks like. Um, don't bother trying the download code. I already downloaded two and the pre-sequel. Um, I guess you can try it and if it works, then more power to you. You get your own copy of Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel. Um, and then it also comes with this little uh, booklet. I, I don't think there's anything important in here. It's all just legal information. Um, unfortunately, if you do buy this game, make sure that you have plenty of storage space because only the base game of Borderlands 1 is on this. Um, you do have to download all of Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel, so that's going to take up a lot of space. I think it's like uh, almost 50 gigabytes in total. I picked up this from GameStop and it's it's kind of weird because it has this whole, uh, it, it's not a sticker or anything, it's like actually part of the cover art and it's just the display box only. Um, I'm kind of bummed out about that, but it's kind of fun to have at the same time because it's not really meant to be sold, but I, I would prefer that this would have been gone There's and there's no way to take it off or anything because it's part of the box art. Um, this is what the back looks like. And it's kind of a boring box art, um, all things considered, it's just text. I'm not sure if this is the display box box art or if this is all of the uh, the Fire Emblem Three Houses box art. Um, I, I have no idea, so let me know if you have this game, if this is what the uh, back of the cover art looks like. Anyway, here's the um, inside of it. I do think that this is a not original box art because normally for Switch games that are new, this is clear and not black and you can see through. Usually there's like an inside, like for instance, if we look at Super Mario Brothers uh, U, um, there's an inside uh, cover art as well. So I am a little disappointed by that, but you, you get what you get when you pay for used GameStop prices. This is Fire Emblem Three Houses. I haven't touched it yet because I know it's going to be a long game and quite the commitment, but I am really excited to play through this one. Another one that I got from, this one's from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken, and I think I got it for $20. I, I haven't even opened this one yet because I kind of wanted to save it for Halloween, but it was such a cheap price that I just had to get it now. Let us um, let me go grab a knife and we'll open this guy up. You can tell it's a Black Friday deal because it's got this sticker on it and Walmart, that's usually how they price, like how they show the prices of their games as they put on a sticker. Um, I didn't, I didn't uh, go into the store during the craziness of Black Friday, but I was able to get this online and then I went to pick it up. It was kind of weird because I had to go I didn't pick it up at their like original, like uh, their little uh, tower thing that you buy things online and then you go pick it up. They took me to the, um, it was like the gardening center to pick this and Borderlands up. But it's brand new, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, here's what the inside looks like. See, um, Nintendo games just have this inside box art, um, but the Fire Emblems didn't. 
but I, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I don't know the name of, he's Poochergeist, Poltergeist or something? I don't know, it's some dog and ghost name. I can't remember what it is, but maybe during Halloween, I will do a casual review for this one. This is another one that I got from Walmart during Black Friday for $15 and I'm really excited. It's the Bioshock, it just says Bioshock the Collection. It doesn't have a fancy name or anything like that. Um, but it's got all three Bioshock games. I have played all three Bioshock games before on my PC, but that was a while ago. And so I'm excited to be able to play these on the go. Let's open this up and see if there's some inside box art. So this is what the inside looks like. Um, nothing, pretty bare bones, but it does have a little, it's probably gonna be the same as Borderlands. Yeah, it's all just legal information there. So it's pretty bare bones, unfortunately, but this is the Bioshock, the collection. I. I would guess that this just has the base game on it as well, but not the, not the um, additional games. But now that I think about it, it didn't have a download code like Borderlands did. So maybe it does have all three Bioshock games on it. It's kind of weird that uh, this would have all three though and Borderlands wouldn't. I can't imagine they would be two different in, uh, game file sizes. Although Borderlands 2 is a really long game, so you never know. This was from GameStop, that uh, buy two, get one free used games. I did already come out with a casual review for this. Um, it's just kind of a, it's a really fun game. I really like that the inside cover art just has all the simplistic controls of Yoshi. And this is one that I keep coming back to despite having already beaten it and doing the casual review. We've just kind of been going back, trying to 100% complete it, get all the souvenirs, all the collectibles, everything like that. I think. Uh, just maybe like a couple more playthroughs and we'll have 100% completed this game, which is no small feat by the way, because although it is an easy game, there is a lot of content to be uncovered. So it's it's actually kind of impressive that I've almost 100% completed this game, just, just to humble brag there. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did order some more things off of GameStop. They had a buy five, use games, get it them for 50% off. Um, I recently had some drama with one of these five games. I ordered Monster Hunter Stories, the first one, because the second one is coming out for the Nintendo Switch and I was kind of interested in it. But inside was Super Smash Brothers 3D. And after some uh, kerfluffle with GameStop trying to get it returned, I finally went to a different location and they were able to just give me a refund. So I don't have Monster Hunter Stories, but I would like to eventually get it. These are the other four games that I got. Um, I just picked up Mario Sports Superstars for the 3DS. As far as I understand, this is just a collection. I'm really bummed out because the 3DS games that I ordered on this order don't have any cases. It's just this dinky plastic thing. Like I said, you get what you pay for, so, but, I guess it's mostly about the games. It's not really about the box art. Here is Detective Pikachu. I really like the movie, but I hear the game is nothing like it. And I hear it's actually pretty easy and not great. So um, I am happy to spend what I did on this. I think it was $5. I think this was like $2. They were just having a clearance sale. So that's why I impulse bought these. Um, this guy was also pretty cheap, Star Fox 64 3D. I have never played through any Star Fox game before. I think my little brother at one time did own this game, but I never played it. I think I only played the um, multiplayer. You just like do dog fights with the, against each other or uh, fox fights, if you will. Little lame uh, dad's joke for you. No game cases for those, super bummed out. I did get a game case for this though. It was my only non 3DS purchase in this order and it's Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Um, I do see this one on sale for $20 fairly often new at uh, like Target, but I think I got this for maybe $8. Here's the inside. It does have the original box art, which is exciting. Um, I've I've never really been too into the Final Fantasy games, maybe only the original Crystal Chronicles and Final Fantasy Tactics for the Advance. So I, I'm i kind of lukewarm on this, but it was so cheap I couldn't resist. I really like the uh, box art cover of it. Maybe, maybe this will be the Final Fantasy that gets me into the series. Although I don't hear anyone ever talking about this uh, particular one, so it could either be good or bad or somewhere in between, I'm not sure. But eventually I will get to this one. So now we move on to the really exciting things. This is my big present from Autumn for Christmas. 
but I did get a Switch Lite. And I know it's kind of weird, it's like, why do I want a Switch when I already have one, especially a Switch Lite, but like, I don't know what to say besides I own six different Game Boys, I just really like this kind of stuff. Um, I, I only have the base Switch, the, the version one of the Switch, so this has the extended battery life. Um, it is a lot lighter. It's kind of funny because, like, have you ever moved on to a, another iteration of technology and then you go back and play around with the older version? It's like all of the flaws are super exaggerated and accentuated. It's like I, I'm holding the old Switch and it's just, oh, this is so heavy, you know, and the Joy-Cons are a little loose and this is all just one solid piece. Um, it, it's just kind of funny where like all all these features seem super cool and new to me I really like this color. It's probably my favorite color of all the switch lights that have come out so far My second probably being the coral. I think I'd like to get that one next um, Yes next I'm gonna get maybe I'll get all of them. That'd be fun <laughs> Um, I was going to do an unboxing for this, but it was Christmas morning and I was so excited to play around with this guy. Um, but I did save the original box. I was surprised by the lack of packaging on this. Um, inside, let's see, it was very bare bones. Like, it was just this. Uh, how does it... it was like just this. And it was just holding, it, it was just in a bag. There wasn't even like a, a screen protector on it. And then the cord and just some legal stuff. It really wasn't like, um, there wasn't a lot of stuff. It was just very uh, simplistic. But let me just give you a, a deep look at the box here. Very cool. This is my, definitely my go-to platform. It's like, I play this when I'm on the go, and then when I'm at home, I play my original Switch, the um, just handheld. It's kind of funny because when I first unwrap this on Christmas morning, the only word I could say is shut. I, I don't know, I, maybe I was trying to say like shut up or like get out or <laughs> it's kind of silly, but I was totally surprised about getting this and I'm very excited about it. I'm, I'm it, it's been like a week and I'm still just so happy whenever I hold it. It's it's so exciting. Currently I am, let's see, I'm playing through Borderlands 2. Unfortunately, the Switch Lite didn't come with an SD card. So you just have the base memory on the Switch Lite. It's only about 30 gigs. It wasn't even big enough to download Borderlands 2 game of the year. I ended up putting the old Switch SD card into this one and it's 32 gig gigabytes and Borderlands 2 pretty much just filled it all up. So I did go to this store and I picked up a 128 gigabyte SD card and I bought this um, Switch Lite case. I really like the um, more thinner cases. I have a case similar like this for my base Switch. Um, I just like it kind of to be thin and discreet, but still be able to protect my screen. Um, I, I kind of wish that there wasn't this little logo on here or on the zipper. I kind of wish like no one knew that there was a switch light in here. Um, but other than that, I don't, I don't think they even make a case that doesn't say switch on it or any kind of branding. It does inside it's pretty bare bones, but I, that that's fine for me. I just need it to carry my switch. It did come with this little handy case cover for it. Inside is where we you can keep your switch games and then it has this teeny tiny little case to hold SD cards Once I am done playing through Borderlands 2 I'll swap it out for this 128 gigabyte SD card But I can't switch it out currently because I'm still playing Borderlands 2 and it's it's kind of nice that this SD card fits into this game slot I did buy another one of these from someone in the classifieds um, But I, I wonder if they got it from a case like this. It was just part of a, like a, a bundle that um, I, I struck a deal with them. Um, so I probably will end up taking this SD card out and just having eight Switch games on the go. And they just have, they just fit in this little pocket here. So it's kind of nice just having a case like that. You, you almost need one if you're going to carry a Switch around outside. My sister-in-law bought this for me. She probably has no idea what it is, but it's the Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection. Um, I'm really excited about this because I've really liked Mega Man Zero ever since I got the second one for the Game Boy Advance. Um, I, I will probably hop to this one sooner rather than later just because they're, they're fun little games to play through. 
I, I know these games enough to play through them in about a day. Like each one takes about a day. I've never played through the ZX and the ZX Advent before, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. Let's open this up. I'm curious if there's any collectibles inside. Okay, so it's pretty bare bones here. Not really any inside cover art, but I am excited to have this in physical. Here's what the cartridge looks like. Very excited to play through these. And I do have the Mega Man Zero for the DS, but it'll just be nice not having to carry around the DS um, when I can play it on the Switch. Widescreen, very nice. And I'm really excited because I can play it with a proper D-pad on the Switch Lite. I, I forgot to talk about that, but that'll be really nice. Alongside my Switch Lite, I also got Isabelle. This is the Super Smash variation of her. I do have the Animal Crossing one that came with Amiibo Festival, which, which I have never played before, but I pretty much just bought it for the Amiibo. Um, this one, let's uh, open it up. All right, here's Isabelle in all her glory, ready to rate our islands. I guess this is the Smash version, so she's ready to hook people with her fishing line and throw them flying across the stage. I really like this amiibo. I like the texture on her vest. Pretty fun. I think I have all of the current amiibo that are out at retails at this moment. I could be mistaken, but I, ha I think I have them all now until they release more. Alongside Isabel, I did get another amiibo. This one's from my mother, and she managed to get me Jigglypuff. So I do have all of the Pokemon amiibo now. I have every single one. Um, they don't have any Pokemon DLC characters in Super Smash, so I don't see them coming out with any more Pokemon amiibo um, anytime soon. So I can officially say I have every Pokemon amiibo. This one has been out of the retail market for a long time now, so I hope that she didn't spend too much on scalper prices for it. But I am very excited she was able to get it. This is Jigglypuff in all her poofiness. She's a, uh, I don't know, she, I mean, she's like Kirby. She's just very simplistic, just a ball. I'm just excited to have all the Pokemon in me, though. It's so satisfying. And that should be it for my gaming things that I have acquired this month. Um, aside, besides uh, clothes and candy, I did get one other toy thing that's kind of fun to show off. Besides um, the Mega Man ZX collection, my sister-in-law also got me Lego Harry Potter. And I really like building Lego sets with Autumn. They're always fun. This one's got Grop and Umbridge, some, some centaurs. Um, it's kind of funny because like on the cover, I, I'll try to get the camera to show it all. On the cover, it shows like uh, all this background stuff, all this detail, like look at all this stuff that's that's on it. I actually scratched off the front a little bit accidentally because it was taped. Um, but then on the back, you're like, oh, it's just a tree and Grop and some minifigures. The centaurs, I'm actually pretty excited about. That's kind of fun, but I'll be excited to build this guy. And um, yeah, that should that should be it as far as showable presents, I think. Well, that's everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking through what I have acquired this month. Uh, tune in next time for what I get during January. I really don't see myself getting too much, but maybe, who knows, maybe I'll find some cool stuff on sale. So uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about anything I have received, and I will be happy to reply. But that should be it for now. Talk to you later. Bye!